Hey folks, welcome to today's tutorial for the General 2 Maths course, looking at the sine rule, um, which is the first non-right angle trig rule that we're going to be using um, to find the side or an angle of a triangle. Um, now obviously this is of a non-right angle triangle, otherwise we'd just be using Sokotoa. Um, now to start off with, I'm just going to draw a, a non-right angle triangle and just show you using this example how this rule kind of works. I'm going to put this as 40 degrees, um, 70 degrees, or we'll put this as X and this as 10 uh, centimeters. Now, I could go ahead and show you where this particular rule comes from. The matter of fact is you don't need to know. Um, you simply need to know what the rule is, which you were given up in your formula sheet and you need to know how to use it. Now, basically what this rule is kind of saying is that if I put a side over its opposite angle, but the side of that angle, so for example, if I look at X and put X over its opposite angle of 70, I'm going to put sine 70. Now that will equal the exact same value as another side over its opposite angle. So for example, 10 over sine 40, which again would equal the third side over its opposite angle. But obviously here, I don't have a third side given to me, so I'm not going to use that. And most, or I'll say all the time, you'll only actually use um, four values or two fractions in this sort of stuff. The good thing is, you can see I've done the side on top. If you're looking for an angle, you simply put the angle on top and you can just flip everything upside down. So actually it's pretty straightforward. And what I've done here, I've actually created an equation. Now we know in our equations we want to find the value of x, we want to get x by itself. So how do we get rid of the divided by sine 70? Well we times it by sine 70. And then it's just a bit of a calculator exercise, putting 10 over sine 40 into your calculator and then times in that by the sine 70 and then my answer in this case would be 14.6 um, centimeters to one decimal place. And that seems about right. And that's it. Sine rule is actually really, really easy. Um, the sine rule is used in non right angled triangles as shown. Um, and you need to have two sides and two angles. Now I say two sides and two angles, that's four pieces of information, but one of them you are looking like you are trying to find the value of. You can see we've got four values here, so two um, angles and their opposite sides, or the two sides and their opposite angles. Um, so we'll go through a couple of questions, and again, I'll go through the process that I, I look for when trying to choose the right rule. Okay, now this question does say using the sine rule, blah blah blah, but I'm going to just take it as in it's just a question, and we have to figure it out ourselves. Find the value of x. Well, first of all, I look for Sokatoa, which is our right angle trigonometry. Is there a right angle triangle in this uh, or right angle in this triangle? No, there's not. So that doesn't work. The second rule I look for is the sine rule, which means I'm going to have two sides and their opposite angles. Well, I've got x and 50, yes. 4.1 and 37, yes. Therefore, sine rule works. Woohoo! They're right. So now. I can go through my rule. My rule says one side over the sine of its opposite angle is equal to another side, 4.1, over its opposite angle with sine attached to it. Now this is very similar to that last question. Opposite divide by sine 50 is times by sine 50. And then it's just a matter of putting that into your calculator. The funny thing is, a lot of people like to use this instead of actually Sokotoa in right angled triangles. Um, instead of uh, doing Sokotoa, you can do the same thing, um, but you can just use 90 degrees as one of your angles. But anyway, um, let's have a look at this. We get 5 point, and it's to one decimal place, 5.2, and there's no units attached, so 5.2 units. Okay, simple as. Uh, the next one. Probably the last one. Hannah is standing 4.5 meters from the base of a three meter slope, sloping wall. Um, the angle of elevation to the top of the wall is 36 degrees. It's drawn in. Find the angle of theta at the top of the wall to the nearest minute. Alrighty, so this question, let's have a look. First of all, can I use Sokotoa? Okay, I keep on looking for that rule because that's quite an easy rule to use. But no, there's no right angle. Next one, can I use the sine rule? Well, I've got a side and its opposite angle, a side 
and its opposite angle. So beautiful, I can use a sine rule. I won't have to go and look at the rules that we haven't learned about. So let's start writing things out. Now, you'll notice at this time, I've been given both the sides, but it's an angle I'm looking for. Always start with the unknown on top. So it's an angle, so sine must go with it. Sine theta over 4.5 is equal to sine 36 over 3. Now look, some people are taught to always put the side on top and do this. 3 over sine 36 equals 4.5 over sine theta. And what you can see is all I've done is I've automatically flipped it. Okay, and that works out perfectly because it doesn't, it means that I don't have the theta or the value we're looking for on the bottom, which creates problems for us. So always start with the unknown on top because now look how easy this is. Obviously, divide by 4.5 is times by 4.5. So now I get sine theta equals, and I simply put that in my calculator. So uh, sine 36 all over 3, and I times that all by 4.5. Now you'll notice that I get an answer which is really small, 0 0.8816 dot dot dot. Remember, you haven't found theta, you have found sine theta. So make sure you press shift sine, I'm going to just use the answer key, and now I get 61.845 dot dot dot. Now I look back at the question, it says to the nearest minute, so I press my bubble button, and it's 61 degrees, 50 minutes, and 43.56 seconds, which means to the nearest degree, it's 61 degrees and 51 minutes. Okay, so again, it's not particularly hard to do. Um, the only thing I'm going to say, guys, I have seen this question quite a lot. I just want to talk about it. You might have that is 30 degrees and that is, let's say, 80 degrees. You get that is x and that is fifth, um, as 15. And you're asked to find x. So first of all, does soccer toll work? Well, no, it doesn't because there's no right angle. Therefore, the second thing, does the sine rule work? Well, the sine rule needs a side and its opposite angle. Yep, we've got that. Another side and its opposite no, we don't have it. So if people think, hey, I can't use a sine rule, so they then go on to the cosine rule, which we haven't done yet. The problem is, is this. If you look at the angle sum of a triangle, we know that equals 180 degrees. 80 plus 30 is 110, which means that that's actually 70 degrees and the sine rule actually works. So you've got to be careful. Sometimes they try and trick you by think, making you think it's not the sine rule when in fact it is. Just a little thing to think about because once I've got that, that amount, sorry, um, all I would be doing from there is doing my x over sine 70 equals uh, 15 over sine 80 moving the sine 70 across by multiplying it and then putting it into my calculator, which I will do. I may as well have gone far enough now. I may as well finish it off. Uh, sine 80, I'm going to times that by sine 70 to get the final answer of x equals 14.3 um, to one decimal place. Um, units, make sure I put units. Okay, so you can kind of see what's going on. It's a pretty easy formula. Um, just make sure that, uh, that you get the opposite angles and opposite sides correctly and you'll have no problems. Thanks, guys. Let me know if you have any dramas. Stay awesome.